Yes. Won't it get too hot? I like so. Oh, I was just worried you wasn't getting enough air. That's all. It's all right. Hi, my name is Leisha Moore. I play the lady of the house, Diana, who brings all these fine people together. And the interesting and funny thing about me is that there's nothing interesting and funny about me. What I'm saying is really, I wouldn't blame him. Not altogether. <clears throat> if he did with someone else, you know another woman, I wouldn't blame him. I wouldn't blame her. Not as long as I was told. Brace yourself. I got the shoes! <laughs> here and I thought, it's no good. It's now or never. I'm going to have them. I must have them. So I guess it's for you. For me? Yes, I saw one in the shop when I was there and I knew you'd seen mine and wanted one. Oh, yes. Yes, it's a holder for the paper towels in the kitchen. Yes. A paper towel holder. Have you got one? No. Remind me. I'll get you one. He's been bawling his head off half the afternoon. I don't think she feeds him properly. Oh, I don't know. He looks nice and chubby. Doesn't look all there to me. Hi, my name is Julie Drummond. I play Marge. And I think the funny thing about Marge is that she is trying really hard to be someone very stylish and hip, um, probably modeling herself after Fergie since it was 1984 in London. Uh, unfortunately, she um, comes out looking a little bit more like Mrs. Slocum from Are You Being Served? <laughs> oh, it's friend, really. Oh, it's a pity you're Miss Colin. Hmm. Now, what exactly happened to this fiancé of his? Did she just... Die? Drown. Drown? Oh. In the sea. Oh. Colin's coming. Colin who? Colin, oh. you know. Colin. That Colin. Very distinct. Perhaps you just forgot, Paul. Oh no, I'm sorry. I didn't forget. I never forget things. You're not talking to the wrong man. I run a business where it's more than my life's worth to forget things. I've trained myself not to. I never forget. Have you? Been having a love affair with Paul? No, he just been playing squash. He was horrible. Diana knows about this, you know. Then he must have told her. Oh, I didn't. Most probably because he didn't like me very much. Well, he liked you enough to. Not after what I said to him, but you know. Oh, your husband will catch up with you one of these days. He knows. He knows. Nothing he can do. Does he know about you? Hey, I'm Lisa Levan, and I play Evelyn. She. uh... She's kind of really evil. Evelyn likes to dress a little bit. She has a little bit confused fashion sense, which is good. You know, big hair, lots of bracelets. And she likes boys. She's waiting for someone to come lick her. But it seem like any boys are really willing to lick her. Oh, yeah. Hello, son. Say hello to daddy. Thanks. Well, he shouldn't be. It's the middle of the day. He won't sleep tonight now. He doesn't sleep anyway. You've got to keep him awake during the day. That's a secret. You shake a rattle in his ear every ten minutes. Hi, my name is Christian Doyle. I play the character of John in Absent Friends. Um, John is a cat food salesman whose most interesting quality is that he, uh, unlike me, has uh, very little ability to sit down for any length of time. In John, will you sit down before you drive me mad? Yes, uh, well, here I am then. So we see. That's what you wanted, wasn't it? Not so sure. Well, if you change your mind, I'll go back upstairs again. Now, as long as he doesn't start talking about death or dying. I mean, if he starts talking about death, I'm off. Well, I don't know why you came. Well, it's like Di says, it's friendly. You don't like him. Well, Colin, I don't mind him. I said you didn't like him. I don't mind him. I don't like him. It was bad. <laughs> You know bloody well what I'm talking about. I'm talking about you and her, you bastard. Is it some... How can a man live with a woman like that? How does it get on your trousers? Well, now look, just take them off. Take the bottoms off. Well, now, where are you going? I'm taking them out. Oh. oh. Evelyn. Paul. Colin, my old mate, how are you? Oh, How are you, sir? Good to see you. John. Hello, Colin. Oh, how are you? It's so great to see you both. Great. Fine. <laughs> Hello, my name is Matthew Vale. I play Colin. And boy, Colin is wonderful because he is very insensitive, but very, very charming. He wants to help his friends so much 
that they uh, would probably kill him if there was a sequel to this show. That's right! He got sick at my farewell party. Yes, something he ate. Out of me way! Out of me way! <laughs> Do you remember? We were all sitting quietly and then... Out of me way! Out of me way! <laughs> rushing about the room, everyone scattering for cover. He throws open the door and... <laughs> Is that none of you ever got to meet Carol? Who? Uh, Carol, my, uh, my ex fiance Uh, she was drowned, you know. Yes, I know. Is that I'm not, I'm not bitter about what happened. I, because I've been denied my own happiness, I don't envy or begrudge you yours. <laughs> Did I say the wrong thing? <laughs> it's an odd thing, you know. I mean, you read about it happening. Sometimes when I feel like she's stuck here somewhere. Some part of her, her spirit, or whatever you call it. I mean, she could be in this room at this moment. Odd, isn't it? You know, it does happen. My aunt Angela. I mean, I know for certain in my mind that she is dead. There is no doubt that she is dead. I saw her lying there, dead, with my own eyes. John's just gone outside to check on the baby, Evelyn. Ow. He thought one of you should. <laughs> uh, what we've all said about John is, God help the woman that he marries, because for the rest of their lives together, she is going to have to get used to the fact that John is going to be the driver, while she is going to have to spend most of her life in the back seat. <laughs> what are we going to do with you? Me? I'm the last thing to worry about. Why, you, I'm glad I came round this afternoon. I don't know how you lot ever managed without me. <laughs> come visit our place next time. Absolute peace. Neither of us ever says a word to each other. <laughs> now that's the secret of a, of a good, strong union. You know, you marry a strong, silent woman like Evelyn, you know, bam, bam. Listen, I just wanted to say, uh, well, thank you, everyone, for having me over this afternoon. You've all been great, and, uh, well, thank you. Goodbye, Colin. And I hope that, I mean, I know it'll take some time, but after a while, when you've, when you've got over, I mean, when, when you forgot about Carol, you can... Uh, oh, forget about Carol. Marge, Marge, Marge. Surely you know me better than that. <laughs> Good old Cole. Still the same. Oh, look at us all. Trooping about like a bunch of wet weekends. Still, why shouldn't we? Worse ways to spend your time? Sitting about with your friends peacefully? Nice to sit about with your friends every now and again. Nice.